This is your NBC 26 News Update. I'm Mina Sperano. If you've got some Olympics nostalgia, here's your chance to see some athletes take the ice. Disney on Ice is at the Rush Center this weekend. It's the 40th anniversary of the tour. Into the Magic includes six stories, starring your favorites from Cinderella to Anna and Elsa and Moana. Whenever you know the, Olymp the Olympics are playing, particularly Winter Olympics in regards to figure skating, you know there is definitely uh, like a bit of a height heightened interest because you know that's what people are seeing and they're like you know connect the two. Performances start tonight and run through Sunday night. You can get your tickets online or at the Rush Center box office. In some consumer news tonight, Citigroup is promising to eliminate overdraft fees by the summer. The company, which collected more than $70 million in overdraft fees in 2021, is now the largest U.S. bank to get rid of the fees. Rivals like Wells Fargo and Bank of America generated about a billion dollars each in overdraft fees last year. Both of those companies have also announced plans to scale back their fees amid pressure from the federal government. Time now for a check on our forecast. Let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Cameron Merland. Kim? Nina, we are looking at a winter storm warning for the lake shore as we move into the early morning hours of Friday and then south and west of that, a winter weather advisory. We're going to see snow falling heavily at times throughout the night, three to six inches most areas by tomorrow morning. But right near the lake, there could be some locally higher amounts, six to 12 inches, not out of the question in a couple of spots. One to three inches, though, when you uh, work west through the Fox Valley into central Wisconsin. Once we get past the snow tonight, the weather is going to start to quiet back down. We'll see sun and clouds as we wrap up February and move into March with just a few chances of some on and off snow and warmer temperatures, at least compared to what we've been seeing lately. Have a great night.